South Africa is in an electricity crisis. This is a fact. And this is negatively affecting the lives of all South Africans. The Free Market Foundation has a solution. The solution to the current crisis is as simple as changing just one word in the 2006 Electricity Regulation Act. This would fundamentally change the electricity market in South Africa and get us back on track for growth. But first, well-known electricity expert Ted Blom. Just exactly how bad is this? This is probably the worst scenario we've ever faced. Are we facing a national blackout? The question is whether it will be a controlled blackout or an uncontrolled blackout. If it's an uncontrolled or non-controlled blackout, we're talking about a meltdown and that could take years to fix. Um, if it's a controlled blackout, uh, like we have rotational load shedding, certainly on the horizon. If we have an uncontrolled meltdown, um, that's the same as putting a, a spanner into the spokes of a bicycle. Uh, you tend to find that turbines start flying out of buildings. And uh, as I said, that will take a long time to recover. That could take many years to recover, if ever. Um, however, Eskom assures us that at Simapan they've got the necessary controls in place to protect the system and that's why we have rolling blackouts from time to time when units go down and are not available to, to generate the required amount of power. Um, but it does make us very vulnerable. So you're talking about uh, dire financial consequences in the event of adequate e electricity not being available. And we'll pick that up in the economy. That will uh, see that uh, the economic growth will, will stagnate terribly or even go negative. And you'll see massive job losses. And I think uh, South Africans, uh, we're entitled to a better deal than what Eskom is currently offering. What has gone so badly wrong? The wheels came off in 2001 with the Eskom Conversion Act and you then started opening up gaps for fiddling. By 2008, uh, the corruption on the coal account was uh, more than 8 billion rand a year and uh, that's now grown to over 40 billion rand a year as, as an example. Uh, it also opened up uh, gaps for stealing on the capital account and we saw the budget for Madupi, for instance, go from 33 odd billion uh, to the current number of 170 billion. How did we get into the crisis with national blackouts? and businesses and people suffering like a third world country. The national blackouts were precipitated by shortages and frauds on the coal account. The first time around was in 2008 uh, when the emergency mandate that Eskom had instituted in 2001 expired and that led to a, uh, a fisticuffs and a uh, fight between the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys ended up leaving, the bad guys ended up staying behind. Ever since then uh, Eskom has just been a cesspool of corruption and fraud and, uh, and that continues to this day and uh, that resulted in massive escalations in the coal, coal price. Uh, the fraud in 2008 was roughly 8 billion a year and that's now increased to last year about 40 billion. So it's about 3 billion rand a month amount of fraud going on in Eskom under the executive noses and they're not able to, to, to curtail it. Back to the solution. Now in the electricity crisis of 2019, the FMF proposes a solution that would solve the short-term crisis and fix SA's broken energy model in the long run. ESCOM is a sole buyer and seller of electricity in South Africa. Herein lies the problem, the ESCOM monopoly. The Free Market Foundation solution is based on four key actions. Implement these and the crisis will be over now and in the long term. 1. Change one word in the Act. 2. Implement existing government policy. 3. Introduce a competitive market for generation, distribution and trade without a race requirement for tendering. And four, operate a level playing field. The solution, change one word. The Electricity Regulation Act states that no one may produce or sell electricity without the license. This means that if you have a generator, you're breaking the law by just simply changing the word nobody to anybody. What would happen is that anybody, any businesses or individuals could generate electricity, which in turn they would sell to consumers out there. Opening up the supply of energy would overnight, almost overnight, deal with the problem of blackouts now.
if you think this is crazy or too radical or that it cannot be implemented, that's rubbish because the thing is, let me tell you, it is already government policy. The solution, competition. Government policy allows for competition, so why isn't there any? Instead, we have artificial prices imposed by NERSA and the apartheid dinosaur that is ESCOM besting at the seams, only kept by old world ideology. The solution is simple, competition, market-related prices, and a level playing field in terms of who buys and sells power. There are no shortages of private power companies who are willing and able to start generating and supplying electricity directly to you. Yet, our government is determined to cling on to an outdated model that the rest of the world has long abandoned. Ask yourself why. The solution is simple. Liberate ESCOM and allow it to buy and sell as it likes. Then, the government should get out of the way and allow ESCOM and the private sector to fix SA's electricity crisis immediately. As we have said, all this will take is to change one word in the Electricity Regulation Act and implement what is already government policy. We as South Africans can no longer afford this gross mismanagement of electricity by government.